Shalom Meshwala. When I start to Vazuz by giving all praise to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, or a double honors to the Apostle GMS and honors you by the done work in truth, war, sincerity. You know, in this one, I'm going to quickly answer the question what is an ad hominem? Right, it says uh, an ad hominem of an argument or reaction is uh, directed against a person rather than the position they are maintaining. And a uh, longer uh, definition is. Um, an ad hominem, Latin for to the man or to the person, short for argumentum, ad hominem means responding to arguments by attacking the person's character rather than addressing the content of their arguments. When used inappropriately, it is a fallacy in which a claim or argument is dismissed on the basis of some irrelevant fact or supposition about the author or the person being criticised. Now, I bring this out. You know, uh, you know, doubling up on the video I did before about uh, what is character assassination, right? Because an ad hominem is basically character assassination, but it's the dismissal of, you know, an argument, you know, through character assassination. And you see the men of GMS having to deal with this constantly. You know, this is one of the things you have to deal with all the time. You know, when we're dealing with guys uh, that know something about, uh, you know, the Hebrew Israelites, you know, they know something about GMS, you know, especially when we're dealing with IUIC. IUIC always like to, um, uh, you know, character assassinate and jump back on the whole rape thing, you know, whenever they, they battle against the men of GMS, you know, starting, on, starting with the apostles on down, you know, and a lot of the time they're bearing false witness, you know, a lot of people, they'll be like, oh, you know, oh, but you're a bum though. You know, what, what does that say? Some irrelevant fact. That's an irrelevant, and it's not even a fact most of the time. The majority of the brothers have jobs. You know, there are some brothers who haven't got jobs. But that's just what it is. You know, that's the, that's the plan that the Most High has for them. You know, man, it's, you know, if you ain't got a job, you've got more time to study, man. That's the thing. But the best, the, the, you know, the thing about it is the Most High will still maintain you, you know, if you're, you, you know, if you're the elect. You know, and it's also a thing about building faith. If you don't know where your next bit of, you know, if you don't know where money's going to come from, you know, but you just have faith in the most high, you know, it's a building of faith. But you guys like to bring it out as an argument, as an argument, as an argument, but it's a false witness, right? It's a false witness. So uh, with that, I'm going to get into the scriptures. It says, John 15 and 19, it says, If you're of the world, the world would love his own. But because you're not of the world, but I've chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. Right? And that's what we'll say, man. So we bring out, you know, that the scriptures say that if a man finds a virgin, and by this definition, it's a woman untouched, and she has passed out of her age, and he fucks her, consensually or non-consensually according to the bible there is nothing wrong with that do we advocate that fuck no this is esau society esau will get you locked up and he'll and he'll really character assassinate you and the whole you know and everyone else you know he'll, he'll do all that shit and when you're in the prison system you know he, you may end up getting chipped you know i hear brothers always constantly you know uh, talking about that one of the plans is to chip the prisoners, and that's what the scriptures say. You know, bond off or or free. So you know, we don't we don't advocate you to do that, but that's and that's one of the you know ways that people try attack any statement or argument that GMS have to say. For instance, when the brothers were down there in Jamaica, you know, I forget the full account, but they they either hit the whole rape thing or or the age of consent thing. You know, biblically speaking, you, a woman and a, and a man can have sex once they've, uh, you know, reached puberty. Do we go, then go and say, yeah, you know, if any man in the congregation wants to go and have sex with a, you know, with a, non, with a child that's 13 years old, we don't say that shit. And no one has, has evidence of us saying that shit. You know, but whenever we bring out an argument, you always want to hit us back with that. Which is why, I'm, which is the whole purpose of this topic, why I'm going into this word, because that is exactly what you lot do. You know, instead of arguing with the facts, you basically bring out um, what what word wording did they use here? 
irrelevant facts or supposition and like i said they're not facts you know it's their false witnesses you know their opinions stated as facts you know which is why the scriptures say you of your father the devil because that's what esau does all the damn time man this is uh, verse 20 says remember the word that i say unto you the servant is not greater than his lord if they have persecuted me they will also persecute you you know, and, you know, we haven't really, you know, us men in the GMS, you know, the men that are Lord willing of the elect, we haven't really started feeling the persecution yet. You know, because, the, the you know, the time's still to come. You know, but these guys are already starting them and they're already going out, you know, saying all of these crazy shit about us. But, you know, the time will come when, you know, Esau's going to be coming with his, uh, you know, with his machine guns and his torture instruments. You know, but that's when the faith that you grew when you was, quote, being a bum. That's when that faith will come back and build you up. Because this thing is about faith as well. I mean, this thing is this thing's about faith. You know, when, you know, when, you know, you haven't eaten for a few days. The only thing that's going to save you from taking that chip is faith that the Most High will, will give you something. You know, not saying that you, you'll be left without a few days, for a few days without food. I mean, I don't know. I'm not the most high. Most I can do whatever he wants. But, you know, then you have got all of the, you know, I'm straying off the point. That's uh, like I haven't read this. is uh, Matthew 26 and 59. It says, And the chief priests and elders and all the council sought false witness against Yahweh Shai. Right, and I mainly brought this out as a, uh, you know, follow on from this. It says, uh, when it says, if they have persecuted me, basically what, what happened to Yahweh Shai, you know, which is, you know, the real name of Jesus Christ, you know, um, they built, they uh, bared false witness against the Lord. So obviously they're going to bear false witness to us. They tortured the Lord. So obviously they're going to torture some of us. That's just the way it goes. Right, as is uh, Matthew 11 and 6 says, And blessed is he whosoever shall not be offended in me. You know, and a lot of people basically are offended um, by the things that we have to say. Which is why they come back with these ad hominems. You know, for instance, when women come up, you know, they'll be like, Oh, don't listen to them. They believe women, this, that and the other. So what? You know, which is why the scriptures say, whosoever shall not be offended in me. Now, I'm just going to end, you know, with a few scriptures on bearing false witness. You know, and this one is ironic. This is Exodus 20 and 16, which is ironic. You know, because the the guys that go around saying, follow the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, are breaking this law. It says, Exodus 20 and 16, it says, thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Which is what these guys to, do to us all the time. Right? It's like I'm just talking a bit too fast out of breath. Right? Uh, Proverbs 21 and 28 says, A false witness shall perish, but the man that heareth speaketh constantly. You know, and, uh, you know, so we've got a load of scriptures in there. I'm not going to go through all of them. You know, but with that, I hope you've been edified, man. And, uh, you know, until the next one, Shalom.